you have these picture hooks that a lot of people use but then you need something a little heavier duty well then you have these things that are called molly bolts and uh, I'm going to show you how these work and then they have and the, the way that you tell what you want this very this is very important about these mollies is this shank right here is to gonna determine the kind of work that you need to have done so these are designed for half inch sheetrock or five eighths either one but if you're working for something if you're working on something that's a little thicker such as tile in a bathroom or something and you want to put up a tile bar in one of the old bathrooms well that uh, between the tile and the cement that's behind it, it might be two inches thick. So what you'd want to do then is to get you a bigger one and it's got a longer shank on it. They even come down to two inches so that these things will spread out and have good grabbing power. Now for some reason you can't find them there's always the old standby, which is a toggle bolt. You drill the size hole this is, in which in this case this is a half inch hole. And then as you stick that through the material, sheetrock, whatever, tile, well they spread open. Then you pull it and then you screw it up. And then as you're screwing it, it's going through the good thing about this if these things mess up you can always back them out this will drop in behind there and then you can get another one we'll work on these two now we have these little puppies I wouldn't even consider using these for anything because if you're not careful and you buy the cheap ones, what happens? You screw it in there and this thing just goes right on through to the sheetrock. Because these heads are so thin that you just usually just roll over and just pull right on into your sheetrock. These metal ones are the best way to go if you need anything at all like that. It's got a large head on it, good and sturdy. The one thing you have to be careful of, you have to make sure you use the right cotton picking screw because if you use the wrong one, this thing will get up in there and spin. So, these are designed for specific screws. So you want to make sure you get the right one. And like this one here is the wrong one. It won't go. So what would happen? As you get this thing set, this thing will just screw up into the wall and then you've got a big mess. And then you have to go back to one of these. The last one I got for today is these little plastic butterfly nuts. They're like a toggle bolt that you drill this size and then you get it and you just shove it through and then once it goes through it'll open up about that much these have special screws because what the screw does I don't know if I have one here or not no I don't but it's got this this, this little red long thing Oh yeah, here it's going. I can use this right here. Well, once you push this through there, then you use this. It's a red looking thing inside your package. Whoops. Ah! Well, if I can get this thing to work right. And then you push it in. There you go. And then it pushes out. These are real handy. They're a lot quicker. They're a lot quicker to mount than these, you know, if you don't need a tremendous amount of holding power. I use these when I'm when I'm hanging big mirrors in uh, sheetrock, 
heavy pictures, heavy mirrors. That's what these are. That's what I use these for. Light pictures and stuff. You can just use your picture hanging stuff from the from the retail store. I can just use these screws. They they do pretty good. But that, this is just for the light pictures, not the heavy ones. Okay, the first thing we're going to discuss. These are the most popular bolts used as far as in sheetrock and stuff even though a lot of people don't like them because they don't understand how they work plus they they've given them trouble in the past but I'm gonna walk you past that and the first thing you want to do now if you if you do this you know hundred times a day we take these we just take a hammer and just beat our way through here because that's the quickest way that way you got a good tight fit but that's only if you've got sheetrock that's probably under 10 years old the older sheetrock gets the more brittle it becomes but in any case Okay, that's all you need to do with these. But where the problem comes in is when you start tightening this thing up and the base of it starts turning. Once it turns and loses its friction, there's no stopping it. But I'm going to show you how to correct that and still use the same one in the same spot. Okay, you can see how that's already making a mess and now it's worked its way past the paper okay and once you get it back in there get your pair of side cutters old ones preferably that can't cut everybody's got them and then put it pull this out you see where I got that I got that in between the uh, toggle washer and the screw. Alright, so shove that back on there because what we're gonna do, I can't pull this much, but and then once you put that on there, then you squeeze this and you see how that see if I can't get that back down again and show you again. Okay. And then like I said now once you stick it in the hole and you take these side cutters and then you squeeze them a little bit and you see how that thing squeezes out well that's going to put pressure on your sheetrock so it'll continue to tighten up and we've got it back in there take our side cutters again start pulling that thing up now what you want to do is you want to run it in a little bit do the best you can about keeping that base plate from turning but now leave the screw out just enough to where you can get these side cutters back on there okay and then just keep keep doing this a little at a time And then just go ahead and tighten it up. Okay, but let's say you over tighten it and it becomes unusable. I mean, you can still hang something on there, it just won't be as strong. So, what you want to do is you know that you're probably not going to be able to get it out this way. Well, this one I did okay so anyway let's just say this one was unusable now so now we're going to go to a bigger one we're going to use the same hole but a bigger toggle 